become more susceptible than the other plants, or are they all susceptible? No, I mean, so I found specific vulnerabilities in these two ATM machines, but the actual attack surface um, it basically affects the ATM, the ATM industry as a whole. I mean, you don't find specific vulnerabilities in different manufacturers, but every ATM I've looked at so far, I've found something in it. So it's not, it's not specific to any vendor, really. It, it, it would appear that uh, your use of the exploitation uh, kit really fundamentally relies on an authentication bypass vulnerability. Right. Is this a single vulnerability that is in multiple vendors' machines, or is it a different vulnerability for each machine or model that you're looking at? Yeah, no, that vulnerability is specific to that one machine. The so what? The Tranex. I, I, I beg your pardon, which, one, which, which machine was it? The Tranex. Okay. And uh, are, are there, wh what percentage of machines do you think have uh, some sort of vulnerability, uh, of, you know, authentication bypass vulnerability? You know? Aside from that machine? Yeah. Uh, I, I couldn't take you guess at that. Well, I'm trying to understand if, you're, if your attack works on 2% of the world's ATMs or 98%. Do you have any kind of, you know, idea at all? Uh, I, I just don't know how many Trinex machines there are in the wild, to be honest. Okay, so, so, no, so it only works. As the retail sector goes, um, Trinex and Triton, you know, are sort of the two biggest in this way. Okay. Do you, do you think you could find a similar vulnerability in most manufacturers' ATM machines? I think I probably can. I mean, every every uh, ATM software I've looked at, I've managed to find it for the one way or another. All remote ones? Remote and local. So how much work uh, really goes into it? Like, uh, how many other people you think can figure this out? And uh, is it is it um, rocket science or not? Well, I'm not going to claim to be, you know, the, I'm not naive enough to think I'm the only person who could do it. Mm -hmm. but yes. um, there's been a prosecution already using that exact term. There has been what, sir? A prosecution using your exact term. Really? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's the same vulnerability, but it's the same um, initiation. Oh, uh, just, uh, how easy is it to figure it out, um, really? Yeah, I mean, it, it takes some specialized skill, but it's, it's definitely something that could be replicated. But is, is it fair to say then that Dillinger relies on the targeted ATM having some sort of uh, authentication? Right, process? Dillinger only work, will work on that specific ATM I demonstrated. It's um, definitely not like a one shot, it's all ATM. You mentioned that um, it allows you to manage any ATM. What did you mean by that? Like any any that would be interconnected? Well, so Dillinger um, works over both dial-up and over the network. So I can manage being, I can add as many ATM slots to the internet. How easy is it, if, if the other thing is, is if you're going to target an ATM with Dillinger, you're going to have to know either its IP address, where it lives, or its phone number. Right. How easy is it to get that information? Uh, so the ATMs, because um, they implement proprietary protocols, they respond in ways that only, like, the certain responses that you'd know is that could only come from that specific ATM. So you would either scan the network, sending a packet, Do you get any reaction yet from the ATM companies? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, Bob Douglas with Triton, and mm -hmm. um, <coughs> Marvy was kind enough to share with us the uh, attack. And so we have developed a defense for that attack.
last year. So, do you have any estimate how what percentage of your customers have, have installed it? I can't tell you. I don't know. And the upshot of his presentation seems to be that the software is back, you know, ten years compared to desktop and laptop software. Um, are you going to be doing code reviews and secure development in order to fix, you know, issues that might not have been found yet? Yes, absolutely. And and we're already doing that to some extent. But more. So there's certain things. I think that the best thing was actually directed at CD specifically as well. Uh, so what do you guys think of that uh, when you use for ATM idea? Triton has for some time offered a UL437 lock, which is a uh, peak resistant and unit key per device. It's, it's an option, which is not commonly taken because it's higher cost. So you could keep doing it. Particular ATMs were called. 